What do you think you're doing? Please, Jones, please. I've seen this before from people like you. You are nothing but a leech, a parasite. I, I don't want any trouble. Well, you definitely have trouble now. doing? You know the drill. Open the bag. Miss Jules, please. I still have another two rooms to clean. Sounds like a you problem. I have no issue calling and telling the manager just how much of a mess was left in this room after you cleaned it. Ugly teeth. For Sophia, probably not the wisest parenting choice. But then again, I guess you people have to put something on the dinner table. I knew it! You thief! This is my coat! Your father left it for me, I swear! He said I could have it for my daughter. Here, I can prove it to you. I found this note on top of the coat when I was putting by the dry cleaning. It's from your father. Oh, please. You think I don't know my father's handwriting? I'm not an idiot. I've seen this before from people like you. You steal from guests, and you resell their items online. You know, maybe I should check your pockets, too. Please, Miss Jones, it was a gift. I, I don't want any trouble. Here, just take it back. Well, you definitely have trouble now. I'm not just gonna let you get away with stealing it. I didn't know it meant that much to you. <laughs> So you admit it. I knew my father was wrong about you. You may have fooled that old man, but you don't fool me. No, no, I meant- Save it. I see right through this cheap outfit and sob story. You are nothing but a leech, a parasite. Stuck on my father's side for far too long. You and your freeloading family will be counting quarters by the time I'm through with you. Father, look what I found in your precious little maid's bag today. And she even admitted to my face that she stole it from me. Mr. Jones, please tell her that I didn't mean to steal. You gave it to me. I... I don't remember giving that away. There you have it. I'm texting the manager. Say your final goodbye, Daddy. I doubt you'll see Leanne working here ever again. I don't have time to deal with this. Olivia, be kind. I need to get to my daughter. It's past three. No, no. The only way you're getting out of this room and past me is in handcuffs. As soon as I got your text. Where is she? Why am I not surprised? I knew I should have fired you when I took over. I am so sorry. You don't deserve any- I'm just heartbroken at the thought of what could have happened if I wasn't here to catch her. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if her husband helped her steal from other guests, too. I'll make sure that the police do a thorough search of her locker and persons for any more stolen items. This, this is just a big misunderstanding. We don't need to get them involved. Oh, so you're worried about the police, are you? Are you here illegally? No, no, I have a citizen. And my family needs- Needs? Needs what? I'm going to make sure that you won't be seeing your family for a long time after the police deport you. I've had three of your people locked up before for stealing from other guests. I'm just happy that my father will finally see you for who you are. A criminal. 
caught and processed like the rest. Please, I need this job. My family needs me. This is all I have. I'm begging you, please don't do this. If you admit to stealing my coat, we'll work out a plan for you. Suspended for one month. No pay, of course. But you'll never be working on this floor again. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to see my father again. What do you say? Better than having a criminal record and no job. What is poor Sophia going to do without her mommy? Do you really think the police will take your side? I doubt they'd even talk to someone like you. You basically have no rights here. The best thing for you to do, for yourself, for your family, is to just admit it. You still have a job at the end of the day. with people like you my entire life. People who think that just because they have power, they can push us around, force us to do whatever they want. I'm sick and tired of it. So go ahead, take my job, call the police and get me arrested. But I refuse to let you detain my life any longer. I'm not a thief and I didn't steal anything. She's lying. I believe you. Daddy! Save it, Olivia. I expected better from you. Leanne's been nothing short of an angel to our family, and this is how you treat her? She was stealing from me. From us. I found the coat. You found the coat. I saw the note. It was in your handwriting. But, but why didn't you say anything? I wanted to test you. I'd hoped that you would eventually tell Leanne what was going on, but no. No, you doubled down. You threatened this woman for something she didn't even do. I failed you as a father. I had such high hopes for you growing up, but you've done nothing but disappoint me. Moving forward, you go on without my inheritance until you can prove to me and everyone else that you're worthy of. Uh, Daddy! Enough, Olivia. I've made my decision. For the record, sir, I just wanted to say I had no part in it. I was merely responding to a guest complaint. Save it. Manager of the Riverside Hotel? Sure, kind to all the guests, but unwilling to work alongside anybody who isn't white. That's ridiculous. Completely untrue. Leanne's been here for 17 glorious years. I mean, we're practically family. So why did you petition against her to the board? You're on the board? I've been so for 15 years. And I bet they would love to hear about how you told Leanne that she has no rights here. It was, it was playful banter. No harm, no foul. Uh, Leanne totally knows I was joking around. So that's it. I guess you were joking around with the three other employees that you falsely accused of stealing and had fired? Go pack your things. You'll be hearing from the rest of the board by tomorrow. Leanne. I'd like for you to have a share of the inheritance as well, for your honesty and years of service. Mr. Jones, I don't know if I can accept it. I can't believe you're giving it to the help. Olivia, I'm giving it to Leanne. Having my money has only made you cruel. She's harmless, I promise. I don't know if I can accept this, Mr. Jones. It's too much. Please. I know it will help. I don't have much time left, but the time that I've spent getting to know you and your family, those are memories I'll have forever. Thank you, Leanne. 